So as somebody from Florida, the snow never ceases to amaze me. I feel like, whoops. <laughs> oh, whoops. I was gonna pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, you can see it. Kinda, it looks significantly more mild on camera. I know, Let's but see. I love the snow so much. Like every single time I see it, and I've been coming, I've been coming to Canada now since 2016. Mm -hmm. It was December of 2016, and it's 2021, and the snow still makes me so happy. I'm like, Jeff, Jeff, look, it's snowing. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Props manager. <laughs> By the way, the house is so empty. I don't know. Am I opening the video right now? <laughs> the house is so empty because we actually just moved here, but we're in the Toronto area. We moved from British Columbia, Canada. So now we're in the Toronto area and Jeff did it. I want to think, I want to believe that he moved here for me because- I did, pretty much. <laughs> like I'm happy to be here too. Yeah, yeah, because it's so much closer for me to travel back and forth to Florida. The flight is so much quicker. So now we're a quick flight, same time zone and it's great and we're so happy to be here so new house new furniture that isn't here yet mm -hmm. but yeah new place show off anything in particular like our puzzle <laughs> <laughs> what else that's all that it? that's all i got Really quick book update because I know you guys are following along. I'm writing a book. I've been waking up at like five every single morning to do some writing. I feel the most productive and the most clear headed really early in the morning. It's before Jeff wakes up. So I'm also by myself and I can really focus. Come down here, turn on the fireplace and I do a few hours and then sometimes I'll go back later in the day and do some more writing. This is the software that I use. I don't know, I, I'm sure I've talked about this already but I'm using Scrivener which is a book writing software. It helps you organize all your documents into folders. You can also put in pictures and things like that. I have some ideas for what I wanted to do for the cover. Oh, you should show that. For the cover, I have like, these are just like things I pulled from the internet, a comic strip idea in mind. I want the comic to look like me, but I don't want it to be a photo of me because this book is about my journey, but I want it to like feel like anybody could have written this, I don't really want it to be about me. So I kind of like the idea of like having different cartoons with stigmas about weight and eating and food. And I'm gonna have to look for like a cartoonist or an artist for that. That's my current idea. Okay, so this is going to be from my month three chapter, wherever that will fall. So month three, part three. This is literally like five sentences, but here we go. Not everything was dark, gloomy, and depressing. Let's not forget why I was doing all of this mess. I was trying to fix my extreme hunger, and to my surprise, it was working. My eating patterns were drastically different in the sense that I wasn't eating all of the time. I literally just spent all of my waking hours eating, and now I would actually have this weird thing people call meals. I started having breakfast, lunch, and dinner with some snacks in between, of course, and had semi-normal portions of food on a plate. This was astounding to me. I genuinely thought it was going to take so much longer for my body to grant me this luxury. Today I'm doing pre-workout. I'm doing raspberry lemonade, which I haven't had in like a hot minute. I have a philosophy on pre-workout that I think that you should take it when you feel like you need it, like if you feel like your energy is good. I don't always think it's necessary, but today is necessary. I've mentioned it multiple times. I hurt my back 
Because I hurt my back, strength training was just like not a part of my training for a very long time. And now I'm finally getting back into it with Jeff's help. We're like, I've been, I've been doing it twice a week. I do heavy lifts and it's been actually helping my back. And my back feels really good right now. I feel really strong. When I do have these like strength workouts, I make sure that I eat very, I make sure I eat a lot. <laughs> That's something that I've been focusing on lately is that I've been making sure that all of my nutrition more or less has been focused on my performance because right now I'm training for performance. I'm not training for a particular look right now that doesn't really interest me or excite me. What is kind of exciting me right now is getting stronger. Also keep in mind that I do eat intuitively. So I eat these types of foods all the time regardless of what I'm training or how I'm lifting. I just happen to be more mindful of it the day before I have heavy lifts. But when I really wanna feel strong, I wanna make sure that I ate enough. So yesterday we went over to Jeff's mom's house and she made delicious soup. The legs look good. I, I mean, know. soup. Potatoes, carrots, turnips, rice, and oh, chicken. So oh, it looks so good. Yum. That's so good. This is like exactly what I want. It's mm -hmm. cold out. Yeah. Negative seven degrees Celsius. And then she also made me a carrot cake. Oh my God. <gasps> Smells so good. Yum. Bringing me back to my food videos. <laughs> oh yeah, gotta get that zoom in, bro. Oh yeah. Excuse my nails, by the way. I'm painting them tonight, I promise. Carrot cake is so good. <laughs> Best cake, prove me wrong. That's so good. Oh my God. And then last night, Jeff and I watched the Raptors game against the Celtics. We got, we got, we ordered sushi because I really wanted more carbs, more energy. So I ate lots of sushi last night. It was delicious. See, I told you I'd paint my nails. I've been doing that because I wanna be more mindful of eating more, especially before I have like a heavy strength session because I've talked about this, but my appetite has been very low and reminding myself to eat and pushing myself to eat. It's more motivating for me to do that when I know that I have like big lifts the next day. Wow. And it helps me more uh, when I do it mostly like the day before. Um, the morning of, sometimes I'll have something light like my normal protein oatmeal. So that's what we're doing. Doing a strength session. Raspberry lemonade. Let's go. Down shots like Lil Uzi. I done had four long nights this week. Try and stack my kills, my kills, my kills. Can you make me look like him? <laughs> you already do. You see the glutes on this guy? I was like, bruh. How do I get glutes like that? <laughs> yep. He's probably, must. Not. He's probably not mad. I gotta warm up my hips. I have old lady hips. Make yourself useful and film me, <laughs> Coach Jeff. No, Jeff is like the best coach ever. And by the way, I'm documenting my strength on Instagram, so if you're curious on how my lifts are going, if you follow me over there, you'll see progress a lot more consistently. I get so much like coach envy from people that are like, <laughs> oh my God, I wish Jeff would coach me. I know, I'm lucky. Let's start, let's start this story from a very dark day last March 2020. It was dark for the whole planet in March of 2020, but very dark on the day that I hurt my back. It was something that happened in an instant in a rep. I was sumo deadlifting, trying out a new technique and it backfired entirely. My back did not, didn't want it. After a couple weeks, my back didn't get any better and I had to see a doctor. Got x-rays, saw, uh, got an MRI, did months of physical therapy. I had two herniated discs in my lower back. So I had two nerve blocks and a nerve ablation last fall. After we do like some volume work, so basically we'll usually do five reps and just try to add some weight week to week or session to session. Then what we've been doing lately to help build more confidence is one heavy set or two heavy sets with just one rep, so just one heavy single. Um, so last week you did 145 pounds. So I'm gonna have you do that again for a single. And then when that goes well, we'll bump it up to 150 and then that'll be your PR single for this week. Sweet, 150 pounds. Let's do it. Let's do it. 150, that's a good milestone. Okay, so first thing 
hands first. When we first started with like the bar, rule number one, don't be scared. Rule number two, forget all of your old numbers. All your PRs, they don't matter anymore. They literally don't exist. I kept comparing myself to like my old numbers, like, oh, this is the weight I used to warm up with, and now this is my working weight. Like, stop doing that because it was depressing me, and I felt like a weak little. Started wearing a belt. It's <laughs> a good butt shot. So, start wearing a belt helped not only prevent me from feeling any back pain, but also my confidence. Like I felt like it was a mental thing. Like wearing a belt helped me mentally feel like I wasn't gonna get re-injured. So that was really important. Then I just like linearly progressed from week to week, adding either a rep or just like a little bit of weight. That's all that I was really doing. And we did work up to some heavy singles some days. Some days I did like just technique work because I wasn't feeling well and I did lighter weight. Like sometimes when I have my period, I don't feel great. So we kind of adapted and we auto-regulated for that. But yeah, so that's where I am. Okay, one rep. Let's go. Here we go. Set it up. Take your time. Here we go. Step. And up. Nice. Good. Squat. Rack. Woo! Okay, it's deadlift time. My in frame. Time to deadlift. My deadlift is stronger than my squat. So you'll notice that. And I'm obviously using this linear progression right now because I'm trying to be mindful of my back, but there are many different ways that you can train for strength. I am currently running a sale right now, so if you are interested in any of my programs, they're all gonna be 50% off, so if you wanna check those out, they will be linked down below. Hey! <laughs> Show off. Three reps. Yeah. Easy, easy. Power on the floor. Snow. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Come on. Let's go. Two. Good. One more. Stop, stop. Tight. Good. Good lift. Good job. Good. 195 yeah. for one. Yeah. 195 for one. We'll literally just take it off the ground. Yeah. Okay. Easy way for you, Seth. Let's go. Let's Easy. do it. Yeah. Breaking 200 yeah. since my injury. Yep. Here we go, Seth. Come on. Oh. So I just finished up my workout. I'm so happy with the progress that I've made. I didn't think I was gonna get to this point so quickly. So huge thank you to Jeff for helping me with everything, Coach Jeff. I am going to have a quick post-workout meal. I made something really quick and simple. I have a turkey sandwich with avocado that I put like seasoning on, uh, mustard and lettuce on a hamburger bun because why not? So I'm gonna have this as my post-workout meal and that's gonna wrap up this video. Jeff's making lots of noise down there because he is actually working out himself. So if you hear that, that's Jeff. He's gonna do a workout now, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This type of vlog is not something I do very often. So definitely, definitely let me know down below, just so I know I can make more of them. I can keep you guys updated on the progress that I've made with my training. I love you guys so much. I will see you in the next video. Subscribe if you happen to be new. I would love to have you. Anyways, love you. Bye. Mm-hmm. Simple, but delicious. I'm a down south. What a West Coast vibe Put the vans on when it's live